Now, as we're looking at carcass value, uh, I think it's important to look at uh, how cattle are marketed. Again, we can market cattle based off of live. We can market cattle off a carcass weight basis. And then we can also market cattle based off a of carcass weight and then maybe a premium or discount for, for one thing or another. But a lot of cattle today are marketed based off of a grid, which is just a, a series of premiums and discounts uh, on a, um, a hot carcass weight animal. So however they grade, they're going to receive a premium or discount depending on the actual grid. And there's lots of different grids out there. Uh, with different emphasis and so it may be a more of a quality based grid or a yield grade based uh, grid as well. Uh, the grid that we have here is uh, a grid that again these change with market conditions as well so as the uh, the demand for choice uh, and select changes the choice select spread can change so right here as you can see uh, the choice select spread is about ten dollars difference uh, but this particular grid uh, as you can see, the green that's in the grid is really the base for it. So the base carcass price for this grid is, is $275 per hundredweight or $2.75 per pound. Uh, and that is for a choice yield grade 3 uh, carcass that weighs anywhere from 600 to 1,000 pounds. And so if we end up with a steer that is a choice yield grade 3 and weighs 900 pounds, it's going to receive $2.75 per pound or $275 per hundredweight of carcass. Now, if that same carcass was actually instead of choice, it ended up being uh, select uh, yield grade 3, 900 pound carcass, and then that animal would be uh, priced at $265 per hundredweight of carcass weight. So there was a $10 discount for being select. Uh, again, if it was select yield grade 4, you're going to back off $20, so it would be $255 per hundredweight. And so as you can see there with that grid, you're really pricing those carcasses based off of their true merit and what they are. Uh, and you can see there's differences in there. Uh, we would expect the discounts for yield grade 4s and 5s to be higher because there's going to be more trim to those cattle uh, and there's not as much retail product versus a yield grade one or two, there's gonna be premiums because there is more retail product available uh, in that animal to sell. And again, you can see the prime uh, $17 premium and the certified Angus beef, which is a $4 premium in this particular grid. Uh, we see some discounts for uh, heavy carcasses over uh, that get into that 1,000 to uh, 1,050 pounds. Uh, and then there are also discounts for lightweight carcasses. When we get into that less than 500 pound carcass, there's nearly a $20 per hundred weight uh, discount to them. So this gives you an idea of some of the premiums and discounts. And really, as you can see, and we try to evaluate cattle and put carcass uh, quality and yield grades on them, you can see where the premiums and discounts and where the overall total value comes down too.